Welcome back, YouTube, to another episode of My Speaking Podcast. I'm your boy, Dark Side of Daryl, Darth Vader Daryl, Why Y'all Art Again, you know what I'm saying? All that good stuff, man. Get some of this little stuff off me right here. You know what I'm saying? We're going to talk about the uh, playoff games, you know what I'm saying? First of all, uh, let me get our slogan. We may not always be right, we may not always be wrong, but y'all is going to get our modest opinion what we're speaking on. What's going on with you, Jamaica? And with that being said, man, we're going to talk about this playoff game, man, you know. New York Knicks versus the Indiana Pacers. Classic game, man. Great defense. You know what, man? I, I see I seen this little trend in the league right now. They're not calling these tick attack fouls no more, man. Starting to make the game feel like the old school back in the days, you know what I'm saying? Back in the when Jordan they were playing the, the Bulls were playing the Pistons and you know, where you could foul somebody and body up somebody about them always calling calling a little tick attack fouls, man. Uh New York, did they, they, they held home court advantage, you know what I'm saying? Jalen Brunson showing you that he is a true all star, might be a superstar, you know what I'm saying, to make it. You know what I'm saying? He had about I think like 16, 17 points in the fourth quarter. Had Stephon Marbury on the sideline, cheering them on, man. OG out of Newby, you know what I'm saying? That trade they made with the Toronto Rappers really paying off, man. He playing great defense, you know what I'm saying? Scoring when he need to score. So New York looking real good. I think I think they may come out there in the uh in the East. It's going probably going to be a seven game series because you know Pacers can score in bunches. So. We're going to see. I think it's going to be a good series. But what I think everybody's talking about, how Minnesota Timberwolves went up there to Denver, man, and beat the brakes. I mean, beat the brakes off the Nuggets, man. Minnesota Timberwolves is just like a pack of wolves last night. When a pack of wolves go hunting, they hunting for the bison or they hunting for their prey. They always go look for the weakest weakest link in the group, especially if they hunting a, in a, in a, in in a, in a group of uh group of animals that they're looking for. It could be wildebeest, it could be caribou. I know wildebeest that's in Africa, but you know it could be caribou, it could be whatever. You know what I'm saying? Weakest link last night was Jamal Murray, and they preyed on Jamal Murray last night. He only had two points in the first half. And the way they were playing defense, and if you go back and look at that last night, man, everybody was moving. They were moving their feet. They wasn't calling them tick attack fouls. The ref was just letting them go at it, man. Coach was getting upset. Hey, it's getting back to that real NBA basketball. You know what I'm saying? None of that flopping stuff. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, if you're gonna if you're gonna go to the basket, you're gonna go to the basket with authority. And they didn't even have Rudy Gobert last night. He was out of state. He wasn't even in Denver, Colorado, witnessing the birth of his first child. Shout out to Rudy Gobert, his family. Congratulations on that. Ant-Man didn't even start cooking until like maybe the second quarter, second half. Nas Reed, sixth man of the year. Yeah, y'all see why he's the sixth man of the year. They had Jokic working so hard last night. Minnesota Timberwolves defense in the first half had eight blocks and nine turnovers. Joker was turning the ball over like, like, he had butter in his hand, man. Every time he got the ball, it was slipping out. They was d them up last night. The way Minnesota defense was, it was like, y'all like y'all watching that some geographic. You know what I'm saying? I watch. You know when a pack of killer whales or orcas, when they see their prey, they see a seal that may be on an iceberg or a piece of ice patch floating in the water. What do they do? They orchestrate together to get that seal off that patch of ice. And what they'll do is they'll go look, see where the seal at. They'll go swim real hard, make a wave. The wave will overcome that, that patch of ice and knock the seal off into the water where they all can attack the seal and kill the seal for their nourishment and stuff like that. That's how the Minnesota Timberwolves defense was looking last night. They saw Jamal Murray was a seal. They came at him in waves. Knocked them off his patch of ice and ate them up. It's classic, man. Classic effort of defense. Charles Buckley said it last night on TNT. He said that was the best defensive effort he's ever seen. 
he's been in the league in a long time. Not knocking those teams, not knocking the Detroit Pistons or none of those other teams. But he said, you know, that that's coming from him. So you you can you can knock it. You can you can agree or disagree. You know what I'm saying? He's been in the league for a long time. He he's been been around the game for a long time. And even Shaquille O'Neal kind of agreed with it too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, that that was a top notch defensive effort. Everybody was moving, moving their feet, wasn't using their hands, putting the bodies on them. It was it was it was immaculate. Shout out to the Minnesota Timberwolves. Went up in Denver, took two games, bro. They wasn't satisfied with no one. Well, we got one, we good now. Nah, uh -uh. They said, I'm coming to get my coach cipher, dog. Shout out to Wu Tang. They went in there and snatched the living soul out of the Denver Nuggets. Ant Man is going to be the face of the NBA in the maybe next 10, 15 years. You can count on that. They're definitely going to be marketing towards him. Him and Shane Gillis, SGA. If Minnesota, which I think they're going to win, they're going to win. I don't know if they're going to win 4-0, but it's a possibility that they can you know, take it 4-0. I think that's what they want to do because they ain't lost a playoff game yet in the series, so they're 6-0. If they beat the defending champs, knock them out in four games, that's a lot to be said about Minnesota Timberwolves and their mindset. And the coach, shout out to the coach that stepped up too. When uh when the when the head coach was back there on the bench, but well, he wasn't on the bench, he was in a special chair because he had knee surgery. But you see how they orchestrate together, they're talking back and forth to each other, they're coaching. It, everything was a team, it was like a, a it was like a philharmonic orchestra. Everybody had their little play, their little area. You had the strings, you had the percussions, everybody played their part, man. It was something to behold last night. That was one of the best games I've seen in a long time, defensive wise. How the way that Denver was so frustrated, yelling to the refs, they're following us, they're following us, go, make the call. Refs was like, man, play ball. I love it. Shout out to my homeboy, like I said, Mike, him and his wife over there in, in, in Jamaica, you know, my other podcast partner. They're just celebrating their anniversary, 24th anniversary. Happy anniversary to Mike and Kenya. Uh, He'll be back soon. You know what I'm saying? We can be back on the ground doing our thing with my speaking podcast. But like I said, man, this game last night between the Minnesota Timberwolves and Denver Nuggets was something to behold, man. Something to behold. You see I'm out here working, you know, doing my thing. But I just had to speak on that because, like I said, this is my speaking podcast. Sports, music, entertainment in that order. And sports is going on right now. You got the NHL playoffs. You got baseball popping back up. Shout out to my homeboy. Like I said, Richard Peace is Mike. He loves baseball. He's a real big baseball advocate. He's a real big sports advocate. You know, he know a lot about sports. He know a lot about sports. He can quote numbers just about as good as anybody in, in, in you know, on ESPN or anywhere else. He knows his numbers. So shout out to my homeboy, Mike. You know what I'm saying? Thanks you all to, to all our new supporters. Thanks to all our new subscribers. Thanks to everybody that's been rocking with us, you know. But uh, I just want to say my piece about that, man. The way the Minnesota Timberwolves, Ant-Man is the next thing up. Anthony Edwards, face of the face of the NBA for years to come. Him and SGA, Luca, you know. <clears throat> oh, we're going to get into that. But so far, the playoffs are looking real good. Two entertaining games yesterday. New York Knicks and Indiana Pacers, great game. Minnesota Timberwolves, Denver Nuggets, great entertaining game, entertaining game, man. Like I said, it's your boy, Dark Side of Daryl, Darth Vader Daryl, signing off. You know, make sure I like, comment, subscribe, and let us know, you know, what y'all think. Who y'all think is going to win the series? Who y'all think is going to win the ABA championship? Who y'all want to see in the Western Conference Final? Who y'all want to see in the Eastern Conference Finals, man? Let us know, man. Let us know what, 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 what's going to be the intriguing matchup, you know, for the, for the NBA uh, championship. You know, who y'all think coming out in the West? Who y'all think coming out in the East? Like I said, thanks to everybody. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. My Speaking Podcast, your boy, Dark Side of Daryl. Peace.